this video was never meant to be uploaded. This whole MacBook series was never meant to be a trilogy. So I first recorded this very short trailer video in which I was just saying, hey, I bought a new MacBook, haha, <laughs> it was expensive. Then there was a second video in which I'm talking about, you know, my little disappointment with, with MacBook and how it is slow with Final Cut Pro. But, you know, at that point I thought it's all okay and I just need to change some preferences. And I also talked about how much faster it is than my older laptop and I was kind of sure that I'm going to keep it at that point. Yeah, and that was meant to be it. I never wanted to create a third video, the one that you're watching right now. This was never meant to happen. Okay, guys, to the point. I've returned the 2020 13-inch MacBook Pro this is the end. You disappointed me. Bye-bye. <laughs> and very quickly, my words of caution, my words of advice. If you want to buy a laptop for video editing to use with Final Cut Pro, do not buy 2020 MacBooks line, be it Air or Pro, because most likely there is an issue between Catalina, the new MacBooks and Final Cut Pro. There must be a memory leak or something because it just doesn't work. Okay, what's happening? Let me describe the issue. So I'm editing a video, right? Um, I am say 20 minutes in, in the, in the editing process. And suddenly, whenever I do something, say I click on a timeline or I try to drag a new clip on the timeline, like I do, whatever i'm not doing anything intensive i'm not even importing any i don't know like motion effects or anything intensive i just i just do like a normal <laughs> the most basic task like i click on a timeline let's say i'm starting to get beach balls you know macbook has those beach balls that indicate that you know it's processing something you're waiting it's like you know a uh, macbook thing um so yeah i'm getting those beach balls uh, I can edit again for a minute. Um, I click on something again, and again, I get a beach ball for like 30 seconds, and I can't do anything. It freezes for 30 seconds. And okay, I try to click once again, it's unresponsive, and then I look in the activity monitor, and what's happening is that Final Cut Pro is not responding uh, so the whole program crashes it just crashes okay um and i was like what the hell um i am editing a seven minute 1080p youtube video like this is not meant to happen right like i paid 1800 pounds for this laptop uh, it's got four cores um an okay processor um, an okay gpu i guess um well not quite a dedicated one but i, I mean this is meant to be working like I could edit it on my five-year-old Lenovo laptop so I should be able to do it on the brand new 2020 MacBook Pro right that cost me 1800 pounds I'm sorry I'm re keep on repeating it but like this is ridiculous right I think this is ridiculous and so I'm like um okay let me go on a forum and see if anyone else has had this problem before and maybe there are some fixes maybe i'm doing something wrong maybe there is a setting i can change maybe you know it's fixable i still had my hopes high so i go on a forum you know apple's forum for final cut pro and i go through various threads and yes people did have this problem and um but to be sure i created my own thread and i asked my own question and i posted my own um issue and i posted my own you know um etter check or whatever like a check that checks your computer for faults and there were some guys helping me there and they were looking at this report and at the whole issue and they suggested various things um i have a list of all the things that i've tried um not to forget any right so i turned the background rendering off i reinstalled final cut pro I created an optimized media, 
um, I imported footage straight from the camera as opposed to uh, my USB drive as I was doing before because I was transporting the clips from Windows to my MacBook but one of the guys from support suggested that hey maybe that's causing issues because of the you know uh, format incompatibility or something I was like, yeah, sure, that sounds sensible. So I imported the footage straight from my camera, DSLR camera, no luck there. Um, I trashed preferences. I used, I created and used a different user account on my MacBook just in case some user settings were causing this. And unfortunately, none of these things helped which was very disappointing and very worrying at that point i started to lose my super high hopes and natural optimism so i thought okay let me call support maybe someone from the actual support will help me because so far i was just chatting with people on the forum it's not like formal support it's just you know people who know their stuff and are eager to help i guess but yeah so i called the support um i spoke with three different guys the first guy was, well, pretty useless, so he just told me to do all the things that I've already tried, fine. The second guy I spoke with, at that point, I kind of suspected that this is not just my individual issue, because there were other people on the forum raising the same question, having the same problem, right? So I suggest to this guy, hey, is there a possibility that this is a, you know, an incompatibility problem between Catalina Final Cut Pro and the new MacBooks and well his answer was so fast and automatic he was like like a like a like a shotgun or whatever is a fast gun I don't know he was like no <laughs> I never heard an answer so fast in my life like he was so so confident he said no if that was the case then I would be getting plenty of phone calls about this so clearly that's your individual case and we'll be working to solve it I was like, okay, um, sure, mate. Um, so again, uh, we went through all of the things that the first guy helped me with again. Um, and uh, one more thing he suggested was uh, resetting volatility memory or something like that. I'm not sure what that is. I did that with him and well, he was a bit helpless at the end. So he said, okay, send me the crashes reports. Um, I mean, crash reports. Uh, I'm going to have a look at them and uh, maybe figure out from the stack trace what's causing your Final Cut Pro to crash after about 20 minutes of views working on a bloody seven minute 1080p footage. And I was like, okay, that sounds reasonable. So I sent the guy my reports. Uh, I sent also some recordings of my screen showing exactly what's happening, uh, showing the crazy mad beach balls happening when I do anything uh, in Final Cut Pro. Um, and what? And the guy never got back to me. So next day I call Apple support again and I speak with a third guy. Uh, the third guy obviously is not um, acquainted with the issue. So he t takes his time to read through the case. Um, and he says, OK, you know what? I'm going to read through these reports. Uh, I'll call you back. I'm like, OK. Next day I speak with the same guy who, who called me back, looked at the stack trace. And you know what he told me? He tells me, your MacBook is incompatible with Final Cut Pro. You should buy a 16 inch one. I'm like, what? And he goes on to say, your graphics card is not on the minimum requirements list for Final Cut Pro. So, you know, you can either return it and get the 16 inch one with the dedicated graphics card or we have a range of external gpus that you can choose from buy and it should be swell and i'm like uh yeah thank you very much um 10 minutes later i am returning my macbook pro to buy dell so really the conclusion from the story is that there is an issue I am not the only one having this problem. There is an issue that Apple fails to acknowledge. And that only 
shows me that it's going to take a significant amount of time to fix it because they just don't want to acknowledge the problem and not enough people have called them yet about it and um, you know this is gonna be a process it's gonna take a lot of time for them to to acknowledge it fix it and release it so if you are looking for a laptop right now um, to do video editing on and stay away from macbooks be it air or pro because i heard people are having the same issue both on air and pro and um, with the new catalina and final cut pro just don't do it uh save yourselves days of stress um i bought dell xps laptop if anyone's curious um it was 200 pounds cheaper and it has six cores and it's got a dedicated graphics card so you know what i think it was a good deal after all and perhaps a good thing that it happened um, because i got better specs for less money well this video was really just a warning for anyone interested in video editing on new macbooks and also you know i wanted to let you know that i've returned it because i don't want you to think that i kept it while i didn't oh and by the way um i then spoke with those guys on the forum and i told them what the support guy told me that apparently you know the 13 inch macbook pro is um incompatible with final cut pro and you know apparently uh the graphics card is not on the minimum requirements list i told them that and they were literally saying that i got misinformed and that this is just not true and and uh, the guy was referring to something else and the guy was wrong so it is not true that the 13 inch um macbook pro especially with the 17.99 pounds or dollars configuration is incompatible uh, with Final Cut Pro, it is, so that's not true. Uh, the issue is something else, it is not the hardware issue, most likely it is just a memory leak somewhere in the software, in the operating system or Final Cut Pro, something that needs to be fixed, but I don't know when it will get fixed. This is surely the last video about macbook pro i am not going to talk about it anymore because i don't have a reason to i've returned it um yeah so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video which is going to be about something else bye